Hello and welcome to more Donkey Kong 64. Donkey is finally free of the void. I had him sitting in the void out of bounds in Jungle Japes since the last episode, but we finally got him out of here and we're back in the creepy castle lobby. I want to point out, guys, you mentioned that right over here, if we go and talk to Wrinkly Kong, she will give us a tip to how we were supposed to solve that lever puzzle. And apparently, if you look very closely, you can see a slight indication of the order on those circles as well. So there is some clues on how to do that one. It's just very, very subtle. Anyways, let's go back over this way, and we're going to go and shoot that coconut target we have over here before swapping over to Diddy Kong, because this is going to be a Diddy Kong episode. Let's go ahead and shoot that one. And once that gate is down, we're going to swap over to Diddy Kong, grab those blueprints and go inside although we are not going to be turning in those blueprints inside of creepy castle because today we're finally going to go to snide inside dk isles as well so let's go diddy kong i'll try not to make any editing mistake today this is this is your day dude let's go over and give this guy some peanuts i guess the shockwave managed to reach all the way across it's pretty wild man i guess we'll knock him down like that and just do some jabs here there we go, dude. See, so yeah, lots of cool stuff to come here today, guys. We've got, of course, all this cool stuff in Creepy Castle, but quite a bit to do on DK Isles, and even a pro gamer move I want to show you guys that I kind of randomly figured out with uh, Diddy Kong. So, I don't know if there's any Super Smash Bros. Melee fans out there, but you might know about a technique called wave dashing, and apparently Diddy Kong can wave dash in this game as well. Let me see if I can do it here. Uh, okay, so what you have to do is run forward, and then you press down and A almost at the same time, but you have to press A slightly late. And if I get it just right, let's see here. Oh, gosh. Come on, Diddy. Oh, that was almost it. That was almost it. There we go. We got some wave dash action. So it's kind of hard to do, but it's really fun if you can get it down. It's good stuff right there. Good job, Diddy. You can wave dash. Man. So let's go up here, guys, and let's actually get started. There's really not going to be a whole heck of a lot for Diddy Kong on the exterior portion here. It's going to be a little bit, but most of his stuff is going to be inside the different rooms. So let's climb up top here, and we're going to go over and take warp number one, just to get us a bit closer to where we want to be. Once we go through here, I'm going to step off the warp pad here and whip out our peanut pop guns and aim right above our heads to try to get this balloon. I'm going to aim right about there. Let's see if we can get it. A little bit too early, or too late, actually. And there we go. So we got that one. Now let's go inside. So we've gone inside this area a couple times with the other Kongs, but there's this one room that has the three red coins in front of it that I kind of used as a guide. I'm going to go and finally grab those three red coins and then go inside that room because there's quite a bit to do there as Diddy Kong as well. So let's grab them and let's go on in. And right inside here, the first thing we're going to do is go over to the left side. I can't believe it. I said left and I went right. Oh. <laughs> over here, we are going to have a Diddy Kong switch. So we'll go ahead and use our Super Simeon Slam right here. Just wanted to show that animation. Let's go ahead and use that crutch to smack it, dude. And right inside this way, we're going to have a pretty interesting little section. So we do have that red balloon I want to get. There's a red banana, <laughs> not red, golden banana just chilling right there. But you might notice this very subtle line on the floor. And if we step over this little line, then it's going to make that thing flip back around. It's go it goes all Scooby-Doo and crud and it flips back around. So the trick is, well, we're going to have to shoot that target before we can go over there. So let's first of all try to get this red balloon here. I'm going to aim right about there. Let's see if that works. Might have been too soon. No, we got it. Okay. And let's go zoom in and line up for this one. Hopefully the Kasha won't block me. And once we hit that target, now it's going to drop down a bunch of chains right here. And if we use those to swing across, then we're not going to have to worry about stepping on the floor and activating the, uh, the Scooby-Doo crud. Got to get through. You crud! Stinking Kasha, I was worried about that. All right, let's go ahead and hit him with the shockwave. There we go. It's kind of weird. When you try to do a shockwave on Kasplat, and they go for a shockwave themselves, their shockwave will just hit you and cancel your shockwave. But with Kasha's, when you go for a shockwave, you're just like completely immune to damage from them while you're doing it, so it's really good against them. We'll go ahead and grab that, and now we don't have to worry about flipping this thing around. So we're just gonna go ahead and get back out of here. Now we're not done with this side area entirely, there's still some red bananas to get, but we are gonna have to swap over to Chunky Kong to unlock them. You see, we're going we're gonna to have these cages just like this. That one actually does have stuff for Chunky Kong, but there's going to be cages just like that for Red Bananas as well. 
So if we go down this way, you can kind of see him right here. And not even Chimpy Charge can knock that down. So we're going to have to go over and do some Primate Punch. But hey, I mean, Chunky and Diddy are basically pals. They both have the red caps. I mean, Chunky wears his backwards. But still, they both got the red caps. They're red cap buddies. I don't think Diddy Kong is going to mind me playing some Chunky today as well. Go ahead and knock down those two. And we've got a couple more over here too. So we're going to sneak by this Kasha. Hopefully he won't smack me again. We'll go smack this one. And then get right by this guy. And once we... Whoa! He almost got me, dude! Once we get that one, we're done with Chunky Kong for now. We will need him a bit later as well. But, well, that's not going to be for quite a while. So let's go back over to Diddy Kong here. And now let's go grab ourselves 20 red bananas. And you can see we're almost we're almost halfway done with bananas already once we get these bundles. We'll be up to 40 just like that. There's still quite a bit to do, of course, but yeah, his bananas are going to be very easy to get. Well, actually, there are a couple sneaky ones, but they are not too bad. So grab these, and now let's go ahead and uh, get back out of here. And now we're going to just go and drop down right here and go inside the next room. Oh, darn it, man. I should have done an air attack to stall. Uh, he tried to kick me while I was down. What an evil dude. Once we get inside here, we've got this red Kisplat. No shockwave. Okay, good. So we'll go ahead and grab our red blueprint. And then we'll go over this way. We've got some red coins down below. So let's go flip down and get them. Man, there's so many Kashas up in here. Let's see if I can get him to stick his thing in the ground so I can go hit him with a grenade. There we go. So smack him like that. And right above our head is going to be a red balloon as well. So let's make sure we get that one. This one is very speedy. I'm going to aim right about here. And there we go, we got it. And I guess we'll go ahead and uh, get nice and close. I don't want to miss this target. I don't want to miss this target, Diddy Kong. I can't even aim that high. Okay, we've got to stand a little bit away here. Let's get nice and close. Zoom in. Do not miss. Yeah, we got it, dude. So now we can go inside the giant elephant skull. I don't know. I always found this area here a bit weird because they make you feel like it's supposed to be so gigantic by giving you three warps, but really not that big so we're gonna go down the left path here and then the left path again do I actually need some help I think I might Let's see if I can grab this uh, yeah I could use it so there we go but now we're gonna go down the left path again I might as well grab this we don't really need a ton of ammo here on Diddy Kong today but might as well grab that and we'll sneak past this guy or just kill him and down this way we are gonna have another warp so we'll go ahead and grab that grab these five red bananas and let's shoot this very special peanut target do the rotation and stick it in and right inside here hmm some numbered switches on the wall as Diddy Kong I wonder what we're gonna have to do well of course we're gonna have to hit these in the correct order one two three four but there's gonna be these things on the walls here and to open those which we'll have some goodies we got to hit the wrong order so I'm just gonna hit anything except for one and that should trigger it here yeah we'll have some enemies that get released but also a red balloon right there kind of important so smack that guy, smack that guy, and we've got some more on the other side here too. And over here we've also got some red coins. So kind of sneaky that they make you do that incorrectly to get all these goodies, but once you know that it's there, it's not a big deal. Let's make sure we get nice and close. We're not going to miss our shot here, Diddy Kong. Let's zoom in all the way. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Got him. First try, guys. Now let's go ahead and do switches one, two, three, and four in the correct order. Just like that. Two is going to be directly on the other side here. I don't even need, need to look at it. Once we get all of these, we'll hopefully get rewarded with a golden banana and not just a golden banana barrel. It's kind of weird. Sometimes they'll do that. You solve some big puzzle and then they reward you with a mini game. That is one small complaint I do have about this game. Overall, I love this game a lot, but I will say I don't mind that they have so many mini games, but I do kind of mind that there's not a big variety of minigames. Like, some of them are kind of hit or miss. And the thing is, they make you play most minigames like five times. I think it would be a bit better if there was maybe like two times. Kind of like a, an easy version and a hard version of each minigame. And then just a wider variety. I mean, I know that's a lot to ask. This game is already so gigantic. They were really just trying to, you know, pad out the runtime by having lots and lots of extra things for you to do. But... Yeah, if this game had more development time, I think that would have been something they could definitely do to improve it, is just have a you know, less repetition of the same minigames and just have a wider variety there. And also remove Beaver Bother, that'd be pretty good too. Anyways, let's get back out here, guys, and we're going to climb up, and we're going to work our way back towards Warp 1. We'll take that, and then we'll start exploring the exterior of the castle using our Rocket Barrel Boost. Let's do a double backflip to get up here. That'll take us right to Warp 1. So we'll take that one. 
And, oh, you know what? Mm, I missed some crystal coconuts back there. We are going to need quite a bit for this rocket barrel boost, but I think we'll be okay. Now, let's grab what we have along the way here. So we're going to have a rocket barrel over that way. So let's make sure I grab everything we can as we go. I don't think we'll need too many unless I really mess up somehow. But I will go ahead and go down here. On top of this tree, we will have one. And there's another one over on that tree, but I think we'll skip that one because I'm lazy. So let's go up this way. Grab these, and then we'll rocket barrel boost. There's going to be some red coins directly above the drawbridge, kind of right next to us there. So let's go see if we can get these. I just got to be careful not to accidentally land here. So very carefully go and get these four. Eh, got that one, not bad. Let's see if we can get these two as well. Got them. And last one. Got him. Now, I gotta say, of all the stages, I feel like Diddy Kong's Rocket Barrel Boost music fits Creepy Castle the least. Right along this wall, we've got these two windows, and there's gonna be a couple red coins above those, too. So let's go get those. Eh, don't land, don't land. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's go grab this one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Grab this one. Okay, now I want to go up towards where Cranky Kong is, because right over this way, we're gonna have a five bundle. So let's go grab that one. We don't actually need to go inside Cranky Kong, but I just want to grab those five bananas. And from here, we're going to just go ahead and boost up to the very top of the entire stage. Even higher than Snide, all the way up. And now we're going to go over here, because there's going to be some bananas as well as a little tower with a golden banana barrel on top of it. Let's go over here and be very careful not to accidentally fall. Just land directly on top of the cloud, Diddy. Don't fall. Don't you dare fall. All this momentum. <sighs> okay. Hey, we got the banana medal. We are almost done with those for the entire game, actually. Let's go ahead and get inside and hopefully get this one first try. Come on, I did beaver bother first try. I can do big bug bash first try, right? Let's go see if we can get this one. So just got to swap these flies. Ten flies to go. All right. Let's see if we can... Oh, get that movement. No, dude. Oh, please. Oh, come on. That was totally it. Yeah, there we go. Just got to react to which direction they go. And just like that. Okay. Oh, I missed that one. He went kind of wide there. Come here, you crud. I'm doing pretty okay, though. Not great, but not bad either. Oh, come on. Eh, you crud. There we go. Two more, two more. We've got plenty of time. We can definitely do this as long as we don't get trolled by this last one. Oh my gosh, I swear I got that. I'm just going to keep slapping. Just keep slapping. And we got it. That one was no problem. Yeah, it's kind of tricky. Sometimes when they get away, it can be hard to catch back up with them. But if you can find a good rhythm, it's not too bad, that one. Go ahead and do some backflip and get that crud. And now that we have that one, we're going to go ahead and walk off the stage a bit here. Walk off right next to the clouds is where I want to go. So right next to these clouds here, we're going to walk off. And then I'm going to walk off. Oh, gosh dang it. I need, I need to do a better job of air stalling. Might as well grab that crystal coconut. We'll drop down here and then drop down one more time. Right here, we've got the ballroom. Welcome to the ballroom. Let's hit that switch, and let's get inside. One of my favorite single areas in the entire game. There's such wonderful atmosphere here. Just listen in, dudes. It is so good. Man, I want to go up this way and just take a look at this area. I mean, yeah, it does have a oh, darn fence block in my view. I'm trying to look at the aesthetics, dude. Can I get on top of this candle just to, like, peep around the room? Will this hurt me? No, okay. Look at the aesthetics here, man. We've got the giant candles, the K rule. We've got this giant dance floor as well. It's so awesome. I really, really dig this place. Well, let's go get dancing, guys. Time to dance with all these enemies. Dance with them all the way to their graves. And once we knock all of them out, we are going to get a rocket barrel to appear. I'm gonna go and grab some crystal coconuts here for that. Did I miss one? Uh, yep, right over here we've got one, so let's go knock that guy out. You can see right there we do have some stuff for Tiny Kong, so we'll get to that eventually. And once we get that, we will get a rocket barrel. So we're going to have 15 bananas above the candles. We have another one of these light the candle segments. And we're also going to have a red balloon. You know what? I'm going to get the red balloon before we go up. I think it's going to be a bit easier to shoot it manually. Because this one is uh, pretty slow moving. Let's see if we can get this one right about here. And there you go. And the final 15 bananas are those ones we have to fly for. So let's go on up. And let's get to get to blasted. Once again, Diddy Kong's uh, Rocket Barrel Boost music kind of ruining the atmosphere. Darn it, Diddy Kong. 
As much as I love the guy, yeah, it's kind of like when you would play old Pokemon games and you'd go to a town or an area that had really cool music and then you'd hop on the bicycle and it would just start playing bicycle music all the time. But there we go, guys. All bananas are done. And there is our final golden banana as well. I mean, of course, we have to go turn in our blueprints, but we're going to do that on DK Isles. So you can remember where this is. There it is. Let's drop inside and play yet another mini game. Now, this one is going to be Minecart Mayhem. We've done this one before, so I'll sh show you guys a pretty easy way to deal with this one. Not going to be as easy as the one where we could just hold up. We do have to actually do some track changes, but I'm not going to do any slowing down with B or any speeding up with Z at all. I was going to take that first. I didn't do that. I did not do that. Um, okay, let's just restart here. I think... What the crud? Anyways, let's try that one again. So I'm going to go up this way. Hopefully my controller will not be weird again. Don't go in. Okay, good. So now we're going to go up this way. Skip right past that guy. And then once we get around the edge, I'm going to go ahead and take... Actually, I'm going to skip this one. We're going to do an entire lap around. And once we get to the other side, then I'm going to go ahead and take this one here. And I'm going to work my way in towards the center. So we'll take that one. We'll take this next one. And we'll take this final one as well. And after we do a couple laps around the middle, we'll just go back out. So once they kind of work their way in, we'll work our way back out. So we'll go one lap around here. And now we'll just get on back out. So we can kind of just keep running away from them like this. It works out pretty well. So once we get to the edge, we could slow down if we want to. It's not really a big deal, though, because they're not going to be able to catch up to us in time. It will look like they're about to hit us at the end, but now they, they can't, so we're fine. As long as you didn't hit Z at any point. If you did hit Z, then probably disaster time. But there you go, guys. We got that one completed. I guess it technically took me two tries, though. Go ahead and grab that golden banana and say goodbye to the ballroom because we are going to go ahead and exit level, guys. Now let's go and walk completely out of Creepy Castle. I don't know if I've ever shown this, but there is kind of an interesting way you leave. You have to drop down this giant chute. Kind of cool. And it just like drops you back down to DK Isles in the water. <laughs> Dude, when we first load in, we're like one pixel. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and swim over to where Snide is. We have to do a little bit of climbing of uh, the, I guess, K. Rule Isle, whatever you want to call it. The gigantic factory crutter. So we'll go over this way, and we have this little platform that was raised at some point long, long ago. So we'll flip up here. We'll flip up here as well. And now just start cartwheeling all the way around. We could go to warp four and then drop back down, but I don't mind taking the, the scenic route here. And I should mention, what we're about to do, there's going to be some stuff inside Snide's HQ. Uh, I actually could have done this all the way back when we first did Frantic Factory. We had to get an ability for Diddy Kong from Fa Frantic Factory, but ever since then, we could have done this. The reason I waited so long, well, I'll explain once we get inside. So let's drop inside and go right over here. And here we have Snide. The reason I waited this long to come and do this particular minigame is I wanted the, the game to take us here naturally with Diddy Kong's blueprint, but I also wanted to wait until we saw all the other blueprints done because I wanted to make sure we saw this one last because this is the best H... Uh, this is the best animation. It kind of combines all of them into one big one. So I wanted to save this one for last, but now that we've seen everything else, let's go ahead and take a look here. There you go. It kind of combines everything together, and we got ourselves our two golden bananas. Heck yes, Diddy Kong. It's going to bring us all the way up to 184, and we're not done yet for the day. We've still got more to go, man. So go check out those blueprints. Diddy Kong is Diddy done. Let's get back out of here. And now we're going to go up and play this mini game right here. I guess we'll just go ahead and bounce up there. Whoa! And this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's see if we can get this one first try. So we have another one of these slot machine types, but this one is pretty challenging. It's going to spin very quickly. Let's go ahead and get started and see how we do. Not too bad so far. You kind of have to memorize where some of these golden bananas are on here. Once you memorize the patterns, it's really not too bad. 
But before you know where everything is, it uh, can be pretty crazy here. So you have to react pretty quickly. But yeah, once you kind of know uh, where everything is, yeah, it's not too bad. Anyways, the main reason why I've been delaying some of this stuff on DK Isles, there's a battle arena pad we could have done back in Fungi Forest Lobby. There's some stuff we could do with Tiny Kong. There's some stuff we could do right here with Diddy Kong. The reason I've kind of been delaying is I've been very worried that we were going to end up having some episode that was like 12 minutes long. So I've kind of left this stuff as just a failsafe, just in case we had a really short episode. I could just go do something to, you know, make the episode take a little bit longer. I was very tempted to do some more on Tiny's episode of Crystal Caves, but eh, I think it's fine. But while we're here, we might as well go ahead and move this boulder and uh, do some battle arena pad. And you know what? Because Chunky is Diddy Kong's bro, we're going to go ahead and pick this up and let Chunky Kong do this one. I also just really like Chunky Kong for battle arena pads. I feel like his dash attack is just so good. And one final reason why I wanted to delay this battle arena pad in particular, instead of doing it directly after we got uh, Chunky Kong, is I wanted to make sure we got the uh, enemy profile for those little bone guys for the crossbones. I wanted to get that from uh, Fungi Forest first, rather than having this be our first introduction to that enemy. Anyways, enough trying to justify why I've been delaying stuff around DK Isles. Let's just go ahead and get this one done. So it's actually fairly easy compared to some of the ones we've had to deal with lately. You don't have to deal with two Kusplats or anything like that, just the one here. So as long as we keep him at bay, these other guys are really no problem. And you have four battle arena pads in particular. Chunky Kong has straight up my favorite dash attack. Strong enough to knock down Kusplats, which is, which is great. But also, it's just so easy to control. You can very easily smack them real quick, get back to the center. Don't have to worry about accidentally going too far out. It's really good. I like it a lot. So 10 seconds left. We almost got this one done. Smack him, dude. And of course, as soon as that timer hits zero, these guys are going to get knocked out anyway. So we really don't need to worry at this point. We'll just stand here. And we got him. So let's go grab that one. Man, we are so close to done with those crowns. We'll see what those crowns actually do once we get to the finale of the series. But that's not going to be for a while. But for today, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. We'll come back next time. We will play as Tiny Kong. We'll do her portion of Creepy Castle as well as some more loose ends on DK Isles. So I'll see you all then. Take care.